That's very kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, why not teach the controversy? There are real controversies in science. They're interesting, and we should certainly teach them. Uh, it's a, a very important part of scientific education to understand that science is not a done deal, that scientists are constantly changing their minds as new evidence comes in. That's important. So let's, by all means, teach controversies that really are proper scientific controversies. But the controversy over so-called intelligent design versus evolution is just not a real controversy at all. I hope it's not pure wishful thinking to suggest that there is a new wave of reason sweeping across America, Britain, the whole of the Western world. One indication of this, perhaps, is a wave of best-selling books, which I'm happy to advertise. <laughs> and perhaps even more significant is the backlash. And I, uh, invite you to count along. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The flea allusion you will, of course, recognize from W.B. Yeats, but was there ever dog that praised his fleas? Hence the flea powder that just got rid of that. <laughs> and a nice little afterthought. You... <laughs> you may not have seen the British edition, but that's a, uh, a, a, that's a copy of the, of the cover design of the, of the British edition of The God Delusion. 